Some more cusp readings here, right? And we're going to, with my trusty list, get right into it. And I'm going to use the Radiant Rider White Tarot deck card. Okay. So we're going to go with Gemini Cancer cusps. That's right. It's you. So if you're Gemini and you're not sure what a cusp is, well, basically a cusp is uh, the transition sign. Uh, the transitional time between two signs. So if your birthday is June 17th to the 23rd, you ate a cusp, which is the cusp of magic. Ooh. Right. So that's, uh, you know, the transitional time between Gemini to go into Cancer. Right. And so I believe that you share those both signs. I believe. Whatever. Anyways. Let's get into it. You got your coffee, you guys ready to go? I'll fire it up. Hump day! Wait, 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 wait! What up? So I cleared a little space for y'all this time here, right? To make it a little more comfortable so y'all can see the cards and the ambiance. <laughs> Whatever. So, in my future readings, by the way. I'm only a minute and 41 seconds in, so just chill out. Mm. Drink your coffee, sign up. Part of the family, Divine Squad. My little subscribers, thank you for your like and subscribe and comment. Noobs, that's you. Just sit back, relax, put on a seatbelt. The crystals I have here, I'm going to start incorporating those into my readings here. So we're going to learn about frequencies and what these magical rocks can do, right? And we're going to incorporate these in the tarot so that it has a full effect of resonation. Did you get it? Frequencies resonating. Anyways, let me give these a couple more shuffles. And then we'll get into your reading. Chit chat, they're all popping out everywhere, right? Popping and locking, baby. All right, so Gemini Cuspers, here comes your reading. So, news, I'm gonna describe all this as I go along. So, I'm gonna pull two cards that is for your energy that is the balance of your duality, your yin yang, good and bad, positive and negative. This lighting, oh my god, you can never get it right. Okay, so what is that? Five of Pentacles. This is your energy now, not in the past, not in the future, right? in this energy now. So half of you, part of your feeling, so it's, you're feeling left out in the cold. Page of Pentacles. So you feel that maybe you have missed an opportunity. You are feeling left out of a, uh, well, it looks like a business kind of thing, right? It could be a job. It could be, a, you know, opportunity to start your own business. It could be, a, you know, a, uh, Missing a raise, right? You did some, you're feeling left out in the cold because Five of Pentacles is being left out in the cold kind of thing. And the uh, page here, right? The Pentacles is about um, a message of like, you know, Pentacles is your, your money, your finances, your stability, that kind of poop. You know what I'm saying? All right. So let's get into why, okay? We got the, I mean, we got the why, but let's get into the story of how, right? How this all happened. Why, I mean, why are you feeling this way, right? First card out of your story is this. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to get the glare off. Ace of Wands. Because you were really looking forward to this new start. Passionately, you were like, burn it, right? So you really wanted this. You wanted this offer. You wanted this, this opportunity, this chance. However you want to say it, right? But it's right there for you. 
So, Queen of Wands comes out. So you're kind of turning it into like a royal biatch or a bastard. Right, a bastard. You're kind of upset about this. You cut some shit off, right? Or you you can cut stuff off because the Queen of Cups is, you know, somebody that's the queen, right? So she has the ability to, you know, say yay or nay, right? But here with the Cups, I feel that you really are disappointed because you... you, 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 you so much effort and love into this, right? You put a whole bunch of love into this idea of maybe this advancement, this opportunity, uh, this offer, right? And so maybe you've been building some shit that um, kind of like the floor fall fell out from underneath your feet, I would say, regarding this new, uh, uh, possibly a new start in something um, financial-wise. Okay. Okay, we'll take that. And uh, seven of cups comes out, right? Seven of cups. So you're you're like, what the hell? Totally confused about it. You're you're like, basically in all sorts in your emotions because cups is your emotions. That's also like water energy, right? So. You're, you're in sorts, all mixed up, don't know what to do. So, let's find out what keeps going with it. And shit. No wonder you're defensive about it. I would be too. All right, so seven of wands. You're defensive. You're like, what? Now you're pissed. You're pissed off. Oh, I'm sorry. Have a cup of coffee. A little sip. Take a breather. Do some meditation. Whatever. We're going to keep going here in the story and figure out what the hell. It's going to be what it's going to be. Yeah. Yeah. See? Seven of Pentacles. So you feel that the work that you have done is kind of in vain. You're kind of feeling like you put your best fet <laughs> your best foot forward and uh, you got shit for it. Which, you know makes you very defensive in this idea because you're really invested in you're waiting for the payout, right? You're waiting to, for that harvest, so it's kind of rough, but, you know, for everything that's bad, there's good, right? So just fuck up, cheerio, let's keep going because that happens. See, suckers? You gotta slow down a little bit, right? We all get wrapped in our emotions and then we don't understand what's before us and we miss opportunities and shit like that and you're crying about the last one, whatever. But here we go. World card, shit changes. End of cycles, beginning of new cycles. So basically now that this is out of your way, clearing the slate for you to do now, you know, explore the world, branch out, right? See more opportunity. That's right. So like the cup says, trust the journey. That's right. So now that's where we're at. We're on this journey now because you, you're you going to carry this a little bit, hold on to it. But just to let you know that that world part is there to show you that there is an ending to that if you want to go forward. Right? It's, and the world is yours basically in that sense. So here comes the next card. King of Cups. Because you're like... You're dedicated, you're loyal, like your family, like you're just locking it down. You got much to give. You're very grounded, um, stable as hell, because kings are stable, right? They run the whole damn shit. So, this is saying really, once you go through this change of now the cycle ending in a new and beginning, to get like command of your emotions, right? Because it clarifies itself. You have these mixed emotions about this message. It isn't coming for you, this 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 abundance or this new job or this pay raise or uh, business opportunity. But the mixed emotions is now clarified with the King of Cups is saying, get out of the Seven of Cups, get out of that mixed emotion energy, get yourself into the King kind of status of energy being effective, being very direct and going for what you want because the world is now open for your ass to go take it. So... Saddle up. And if you like this button, click it on the like. Thank you. But 
with the four cups here. Four of cups is like you're dwelling on this shit for real. You are. Even though you're stepping into this direct kind of change in your life or emotions about it, uh, there's still some stuff that's left behind because look at what's in front of you. See those cups? This is what you should be focusing on. It's what's in front of you, which is, you know, the world to take. But you're stuck looking at this old bitch. And this old bitch is this old bitch. The, 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 the page of pentacles. You're still dwelling on missing out on something. Cut it out. Cut it. Cut it out. Okay, Gemini Cusps. Let's keep going here. Let's pull another card here because we're rounding to the end of the story and my coffee's in the way. Okay, there you go. Some glare in there. I know it's horrible, but you know, hey, if you got any ideas, shoot them my way. You know what I mean? I'm not a cin cinematographer and all that other good stuff, but I gave them my best shot. Next card, please, is your King of Pentacles. So, yes. You really have the opportunity to boss up and take command of your uh, stability of, of, of new finances, of new opportunities, uh, new revenues, new ways, right? So, um, you got to get out of your four of cups, right? So, if we change the four of cups from that deceit, uh, the, the feeling of, well, obviously you are still <laughs> reminiscing of the loss, but... If you change the four to now use it in numerology, we're going to say that the four is now about stability, right? And so we'll bring that into the meaning of the cups, which is your emotions. So basically, when you regain your fucking stability in your emotions and stop sulking about this, this is where you'll turn into, you'll turn into like a beast. Animal mode, stepping up, ripping shit up, going for the top. The king, king of pentacles, because you have this um, floating in your head still. And once you gain your stability and your emotions, that you're gonna let that go and step it right up, and then it'll be a smooth course ahead with the six of swords. So, not only your mind will persevere through this kind of mixed emotions, uncertainty like, why, why, why am I not good enough? Well, you are, but see, it wasn't meant for you. So move on, fella or lady, whoever you are over there watching my channel. Hit the like button, subscribe, appreciate you. Join the family. So persevering in your mind through this is going to be a smooth, steady course ahead, right? No ripples. No minimal ripples. Bam. But now comes research. Now you have to do some research. So that means you have to do some job hunting, drop some resumes, yada, 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 right? Page of sorts. So do your research, figure out what's out there for you that is going to be your best fit, that fits with what you were doing, but only higher up, right? Go right to the top. And go within and really find that energy to do that. With the hermit, see he's holding that lamp. I don't call science people, but here it's Virgo energy, right? So Virgos are very analytical. They're very precise. They're perfectionists. So be methodical in your research to get what you want because the world is presenting you a new opportunity, a new cycle to jump on that bandwagon and go for it and step into your kingship or, you know, if you're a lady, whatever. It's the same energy because women can have... Masculine energy is making it feminine energy. So, yeah, hit the like button. Thanks. Okay, so that's basically your story. Okay, it's laid out pretty good. So, here comes your outcome, your verdict, your decision. You ready? Whoa! The Empress comes out. So, now you are sitting pretty, you are elegant. You are nurturing, you are motherly, you are tender little, just butterflies everywhere. Because when you do this research, you'll have this 
extra abundance. Because in the world of this that we live in, most of it is unseen, right? So, uh, when you lose something, not of your own fault, you regain something back in a bigger way. Right. It's called a sacrifice, people. So that's why you're in the sample synergy. Because now you're feeling that you are where you're supposed to be. Once you do this research, kind of get out of your head, kind of get out of your emotions, and, and, and put that shit out there and don't let this be a defeat. You know what I mean? It's just, it's a, it's a page offer. It's like, yeah, it's 25 cents extra an hour. You're like, bitch, I bust my balls more than that. Anyways, here's your next card. There it is. And the change will come. The transformation has been set for you now to be in this, in your elements, in this Empress energy. So now you're highly, your higher elevation in your, your, your energy, right? So in, you go from like the queen to the king, and now you're the empress. So you're doing these levels of energetically building yourself out of this mixed emotions. Oh, I don't know if this is going to be being all defensive and, and being bummed out about not getting this. It's only a page. That ain't shit. Right? Pages are minimal. They're little. They're small. Right? So, take that to the bank with you. With your new attitude. Right? I think I might post that. Uh, a new attitude. Hmm. That could be one. So anyways, thank you for your time. Thank you for your energy. I hope you all do good today. Happy hump day. Peace and pray. See you again. Pew.